Welcome everyone. This is Teresa. I'm the founder of Honeymoon Islands. And today we're doing a webinar on Viking cruises and we're focusing on their ocean uh, cruises. And I'd like to welcome Beth Walker, who is the account manager for Viking Cruises. Welcome, Beth. Hi, thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much for having me today. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with us. Uh, today, I will be talking about uh, discovering the ocean world of Viking. So uh, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. And then um, if you have any more information or if you have any more questions or need any more information, um, go ahead and get in touch with Teresa. She'll be happy to help you out, but we'll go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so I first want to go ahead and start by saying, you know, Viking Ocean Cruises was voted the number one ocean cruise line uh, starting in 2016 all the way up to last year in 2020. So that makes uh, Viking the world's best ocean cruise line five years in a row by travel and leisure. You know, of course, we wanted to thank all of you who voted for us, all of our travel advisors. You know, without you guys, we would be nothing. So we really do appreciate uh, appreciate your votes. And we continue to deliver the meaningful cruising where uh, we hope to gain this award again um, this year. So. And remember, we only came out with our ocean product in 2015. So that means just a year on the water, um, we were already voted number one. So very, very proud of this of accomplishment. And let's go ahead and get into the Viking philosophy and what Viking is. So we're not everything to everyone. You know, we do focus on English speaking, those uh, mature couples with curious minds for the history and culture and geography of the destinations. We're a very uh, destination focused cruise line. We get closer to iconic cities and quaint towns than any other cruise line offering you more time in port. We offer a highly inclusive product. We don't believe in nickel and diming our guests. Uh, we pass along our savings to our guests, which makes us an efficient operator. And we hire the best staff in the cruise industry with the highest retention rate year after year. And when we talk about the Viking difference and what sets us apart from other cruise lines. So we consider ourselves the, the thinking person's cruise. You know, we, um, we like to experience the destination with cultural insight and enrichment. Uh, we understand the food, the cultural countryside and customs. We learn more with recommended reading materials, films, uh, and a lot more. We like to do as the locals do by visiting markets or stepping behind the scenes of that famous theater company or world-class museum. We enhance your journey on board with world-class lectures designed to enrich and regionally inspired cuisine and wine. We'd love for you to, free, love for you to connect with fellow English speaking travelers with, shared, um, with sharing the same interests, ideals, and backgrounds. So, that um, it's really what what Viking stands by. And we're again, you know, we're not for the booze cruise type. We're really for those that want to go to to learn more and experience more of the destinations. And that's what Viking is. And that's what Viking offers um, to our guests. So when it comes to small ship cruising, we really are the small ship experts. Remember, we started in Russia on the waterways of Russia <clears throat> um, uh, more than two decades ago. So we have more than two decades of expertise. We are the leading river cruise industry in destination focused travel. And we started our ocean product in 2015. So we, we, we offer the same small ship uh, cruising to our ocean products. Our cruise ships only hold a guest capacity of 930 on our ocean ships. Uh, we own and uh, they're all owned and operated by Viking, so we all can deliver a consistent and seamless experience. We offer more time in port and fewer sea days, allowing for immersion in every destination. Um, again, our small ships with just 930 guests. Uh, now, these are we feel it's going to be more of a safer, more intimate experience than those um, cruising on a mega ship that hold two, three thousand people. Even when the ship is at uh, guest capacity with 930 guests all booked, you never feel overcrowded. You never have to wait in a line for an elevator. You never have to wait uh, too long for a dining reservation. It really does feel like you have the whole ship to yourself. Um, we have prime, we dock right in prime central berths and the world's greatest cities such as Venice, London, Hong Kong, and Sydney, to name a few. And of course, when we go on vacation, you know, and we, especially when we talk about cruising, we talk about, we love the food. The food is a main topic, right? You know, what, what, what do they offer? What, what restaurants can I eat at? You know, we offer a variety of regional cuisines to all American classics. 
Uh, here we have pictured the chairman's choice salmon with potatoes. And I personally have had this dish and I cannot, I, I can't explain enough how amazing the salmon is. It's just like butter, just melts in your mouth. Every, I, every dish on board is just like a, a, a world-class you know, dining experience. It's just amazing. The, the dishes that they make on board our ships. Um, you know, and everything's included. All meals on board are included. So there's no additional charge even for the alternative restaurants. So we, we actually go out into the um, ports. We'll get locally sourced ingredients to um, make uh, regional dishes on board. Every item on board from the entrees to the appetizers to desserts. It's just, oh, don't, don't go on a big cruise, biking cruise vacation if you're on a diet or plan to be on one because it'll ruin it. Trust me. And we do offer the best dining choices at sea. Guests can choose from eight dining options, all again with no additional charge. So there's no cover charges for any of our restaurants. We have the restaurants, our main dining venue, uh, Manfredi's is an Italian restaurant. And I'll go into these a little bit more um, down further down the presentation, but a lot of off dining options for you to choose from. Um, one of my personal favorites too is the 24 hour complimentary room service. You know especially as we get back out there and sailing, you know, we find that some guests might feel more comfortable to dine in the comfort of their own seat room rather than seating with other people. So we do offer you that option to dine in your room 24 um, seven and there's no, no additional charge. So if you feel like a T-bone steak at three in the morning, go ahead and order it. We won't judge you. And when it comes to our service, you know, we are really do have the award-winning service, warm hospitality from our Swiss trained English speaking staff. Um, you know, we hire the best staff that have the highest retention rate, about 90% return year after year. Everybody on board is smiling and it's not, it's not the forced smile that they have to give us. It's the more genuine smile that you can just feel the happiness in the air. And, you know, our, our employees are happy. Our guests are happy overall. Then it just makes us happy. It makes us a great cruise line to, to work for and to be traveling on. So uh, we are the only cruise line to offer a service guarantee as well. So that means if anything is wrong on board, anything's going wrong with your, with your trip, you give us 24 hours to make it right or your money back. So we are the only cruise line to offer this. And we have a really personalized attention uh, is, is really a service hallmark. And that, that was from Yahoo Travel. And we really stick by that. So our crew does go above and beyond with you guys. And you're going to make friends along the way as well. So they're, they're just great people. <clears throat> Next, I want to talk about the cultural enrichment. So we do bring culture and history to life. You know, with the onshore exploration, we give you one included shore excursion in every port of call. We have um, inspiring lectures on board, tastings of wines and local cuisine, port talks, destination performances, onboard cooking school. Again, we like to have you immerse yourself with the destinations rather than just going on, you know, a typical booze cruise. You're going to be there to learn and, and to really get your hands on and, and, and see as these locals do in the destinations that you visit. Um, go beyond the iconic, carefully curated optional tours, plus the Viking way of exploration. I'll get into that in the next slides. You can personalize your journey. We have expert guest service staff available to assist. Again, our guest services live on these oceans and they can know everything there is to know about all these ports. So if there's a place you wanna go out on your own, um, you know, just venture out from the norm, then definitely do so. Get in touch with our guest services on board. They'll help you plan out your day. And when we talk about the, um, the Viking way, um, we have a greater selection of options. So this is what's gonna categorize your shore excursion. We, we go beyond allowing our guests to immerse themselves. Anything from local life, where you experience highlights of Helsinki with Finnish food tastings, or you'll get a taste of Norwegian farm life. You know, see as locals do, live in their shoes and, and see how they live on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, meet the owners of a New Zealand sheep farm and experience life on their working farm. A working world, you'll get behind the scenes look at how, how these, um, how the, how these ports work. And, you know, you'll go behind tour of, um, uh, Hanseatic rock stock and local brewery. You'll stop by town's old town and visit a chocolate workshop. Um, you'll visit the craftsmanship behind the carnival, uh, carnival of Venice. So you'll go behind the scenes and see how these ports work and, and how these people make these ports work and, and what they do on a daily basis. 
And then we also have privileged access, privileged, privileged access to exclusive um, sites into, you know, renowned museums. We've got everything from <clears throat> after hours tour tour at the Hermitage Museum, a living monument to Russian history and culture, or you can enjoy a panoramic tour of Berlin, um, you know, with a private organ concert in the Berlin Cathedral. Or admire Michelangelo's, um, Michelangelo's white masterpiece, David, without any crowds. So you can find these all labeled on the shore excursions, uh, whether you're looking on our website or um, if you're booked and you have a My Viking Journey account, these are all going to be labeled for you. So it gives you more detail of what you're going to experience on these shore excursions. So while it is important to know what is included with the Viking, we also feel it's important to know what is not. So, you know, Viking... Um, Viking stands apart because of all the things that we do, uh, that we don't do. So the first is casinos, you know, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people have asked us, are we going to start making casinos on board? You know, we, a lot of our guests choose to cruise with Viking for this reason. And they don't want to go just to relax on board and just do their thing. You know, they want to be out there in the destinations. We don't want to keep you on board the whole time. So we're not going to offer casinos. It's not going to be something we're going to plan in the future. So um, no casinos, no children under 18. You know, we all love our own children. Or we love our grandchildren, but not necessarily traveling with other people's kids, right? So no kids under 18. Uh, we go more relaxed vacation. Uh, no umbrella drinks and no art auctions, no charge for beer and wine at lunch and dinner. We all know that can add up. So you do get the complimentary beer, wine and soft drinks during the meal times. And then we also don't do any corkage fees. So if you want to buy a bottle uh, of wine in Paris or, um, you know, buy, buy a case of beer and bring it back on board, go ahead and do so. We'll even open it for you to enjoy your stateroom or enjoy your dining room. We won't have to hold it for you like the other cruise lines do till the end of your cruise. Just go ahead and enjoy it. It's your vacation. Uh, no, again, no cover charge for the alternative restaurants, no charge for Wi-Fi. We want you to remain connected with your family and friends back home. Post those pictures, make everybody jealous. <laughs> uh, no entrance fee for the spa, no spa sales pressure. Uh, we have no inside staterooms. So that means on our ocean ships, all cabins have their own private veranda, own private balcony. Uh, there's no smoking, no waiting in lines, no formal nights, butlers, white gloves. And of course, no nickel and diming. All of our cruise ports, uh, the cruise um, docking fees and all that, that's all include taxes and then port fees is all included in your cruise fare. So we don't like to nickel and dime, I guess. We like to pass along our savings to you. Now let's go ahead and get into the world of Viking, ocean world of Viking. So as you can see here, we hit many, many destinations, anywhere from Argentina to Brazil to U.S. to Alaska, Canada, Mexico, um, you know, Australia, Thailand, Indonesia, Russia, Norway. You can see the Baltic cruises. We've got a lot, a lot of options for you to choose from on our oceans. Um, whether you have a specific destination that you already have in mind, or you want to go ahead and have, you know, Teresa help you find the perfect ocean voyage for you. Um, you know, we, we travel it all. We see it all. So definitely get in touch with her. She'll be able to go over what destination works best for you, what itinerary will help plan your perfect vacation with Viking. And uh, let's go ahead and get into some of our most popular ocean cruise uh, voyages. So I would have to say, um, you know, Hands down, our most popular would have to be our Baltic Viking homelands. This is our Stockholm to Bergen cruise. It's 15 days. It's 11 guided tours, and uh, it offers eight countries for you to visit. So you can either start in Stockholm or end in Bergen. You do get an overnight in Stockholm, an overnight in St. Petersburg, and then an overnight in Bergen. So um, this is a great Baltic cruise for those of you that are wanting to visit the Baltics and have that time to get away. This is a great one to do. It's a hot seller. So definitely get on board this one as soon as possible rather than waiting till later. Most of our, most of our guests do book about a year or two in advance. So um, now is the time to be looking if you're looking to go for 2022 or 2023. We do have some available for 2023 as well. But here is the map. So um, again, you can either start in either direction. We have this cruise offered in both directions. And um, yeah, you get to see the, the best of the Baltics. 
So, and then you can also add on an extension in Bergen or extend to Oslo, or you want to extend more time in Stockholm. Mostly all of our cruises um, offer extensions in either the front or the back end. So I highly encourage you to add on those extensions, especially when it's a shorter cruise, maybe like an eight day or a 10 day. Because the one the regret that I do get, uh, that I do hear from my guests when they come back is, I wish I would have added more time. That wasn't enough time. One week wasn't enough time. So if you want to add more time in port, um, book those at hotel extensions. Uh, they're not, they're first come first serve. So make sure you book them when you're booking your cruise um, entry. So we'll go over the specifics with you as far as pricing and inventory for all of those. Next uh, really popular Baltic cruise is our Into the Midnight Sun. This is Bergen to London, 15 days, uh, nine guided tours, three countries. So you do get an overnight in Bergen. Um, you visit the Shetland Islands. We're happy you'll maybe see the Shetland ponies. Um, you have an overnight in London as well. You cruise the North Sea. So you do have um, a couple sea days here on this one, but it's a great itinerary if you wanna um, hit the Baltics as well. And here's a look at the map and how in the directions that we sell. So again, you can start in London or start in Bergen, or you can add in an extension to Oslo or add a couple nights in either London or Bergen. So great itinerary um, followed up with the Viking homelands for you to visit. Also too, we do offer an extension in Reykjavik too. So if you wanna visit I Iceland, then we do offer Reykjavik. It's a really hot extension. A lot of our guests book that one. So um, if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, Book that sooner than later because that one will sell out, I promise you. And if you not the Baltic isn't for you, or maybe you've been there before and you want to try, you know, going to the Mediterranean. Um, a popular eight-day Mediterranean is our iconic Western Mediterranean. This cruise will give you five guided tours, visit four countries, and it takes you from Barcelona to Rome or vice versa. You get overnight in Barcelona and then an overnight in Florence. So this is a great one to start if you've never been to the Mediterranean. You don't really have that much time to get away, but you kind of want to see it, see it, see as much as you can. So um, here's a look at the map. Again, this one will also go in both directions. You can add on an overnight in Rome or an overnight in Barcelona. And I can't stress this enough. If you have the time, add that overnight in in either of those ends because um, you know a great way for you, a great thing thing to think about when you're booking an extension in the beginning of your cruise is you know. <clears throat> Sometimes you won't necessarily always get an overnight in the beginning. So as soon as you arrive, you might have to start set sail. You won't have enough time in port. So not only does it give you more time in the port, um, it also gives you the opportunity to get over the jet lag and the long flight by staying in a hotel first. So just a couple side notes for you to think about when you are booking. So this is a great, um, great itinerary to visit the Mediterranean. This is open for 2022 and 2023 as well. And if you have more time and you want to see um, more of the Mediterranean, this is one of my personal favorites, the Mediterranean Odyssey. This one is uh, gives you 10 guided tours, visits six countries, Barcelona to Venice or vice versa. You get uh, overnight in Barcelona. You get an overnight in Venice. You visit anything from Spain, um, Monaco, Italy, Greece, Croatia. So a lot of destinations in the Mediterranean for you to visit on this one is one of my personal favorites this one is also a great seller it does sell out quick so make sure you are booking in advance for this one here's a look at the map and what you will see so you can start in either direction and you know a question that um i get and i'm sure Teresa gets a lot too is what you know what direction is more preferred over the other if there is there's no preference. I mean, it's really your preference. If you plan to start, you know, somewhere first, or maybe you want to see a little bit more of Barcelona. So you want to add an extension in the beginning end. So maybe you'll start in Barcelona. It's really your preference. You're going to see the same stops. It's going to be the same itinerary. You're going to stay in the same excursions. Um, so just, we just offer it in both directions for those that have a preference. Um, but not all um, directions are offered on the same date. So also take that in mind as well. So uh, Mediterranean Odyssey is a great one to see six countries of the Mediterranean. And uh, this one is out for 2022 and 2023 as well. And of course, we hit it all. Everything from Scandinavian Northern Europe, um, British Isles Explorers, also a great one to, to book for the Baltics. In Search of the Northern Lights is a new one we came out with uh, starting, I believe that one set sail in 2019. Uh, that one hits 
only the months of January, February, and March. So you can see the Northern Lights. Uh, we've got, if you want to see some fjords, we got our Viking shores and fjords, eight day. <clears throat> Mediterranean Adriatic, a lot more other destinations for you to choose from, whether you want to go see um, the Greek Isles on our Greek Odyssey. We also have um, some new itineraries that visit Istanbul, our ancient Adriatic treasures, and then our ancient Mediterranean treasures, a 15 day or an eight day. And then, of course, we've got the Americas and Caribbean, where you can visit um, the Eastern Seaboard Explorer or visit the Amazon. We do have uh, Caribbean Island Treasures. That's a round trip Miami. If you don't want to fly, um, you know, international. And then we've got our Panama Canal um, and then Asia and Australia. We, one of my personal favorites from there is our Bangkok, Bali and beyond. It's 13 days, goes from Bali to Bangkok. We also have our Komodo and Australian coast is a popular uh, Australia one, 17 days, Sydney to Bali. And then we have a couple ocean and river voyages combined. So um, we do offer for those guests that want to do both. You know, you want to do a river and an ocean. We don't offer a many, in, we don't have much inventory for this one. So maybe about two dates per year. So if this is something that you're interested in hearing about, uh, get in touch with Teresa so she can go over the availability and the pricing with you on these. Um, but we do offer them. So just got to find the availability on those, which is there, I'm sure. <laughs> we've, we've we list a lot for 2023. And um, with the newest announcement um, of our expeditions, we are going to start sailing expedition cruises come 2022. So uh, we are currently in the process of building two new ships, the expedition ships. We got our Viking Octandis and our Viking Polaris. And these ships will be visiting the Arctic and Antarctica, the Great Lakes in Canada. And then we got some grand journeys for you. So this is all available and uh, ready for inventory as well. Uh, we are very excited about the announcement of our expedition ships. And uh, if you want more information, you can look at our website at, the, at a 360 tour of our ship or get in touch with Teresa. She can go over the inventory and pricing for you of all of the itineraries and help you find the right cabin for you on the expedition ships. But let's go ahead and dive into our ocean ships and take a look at, um, just to give you a brief tour of what's inside. And, and how and how our ocean ships are designed. So our guests, our ships hold again a guest capacity of 930. Um, all veranda cabins. I love this about our ships. So you're not forced to book into a porthole cabin or an interior cabin, you know, because you want to, you know, quote unquote save money or you know you feel like you're not going to be in your room the whole time. It's nice to have your own balcony. You know, it's nice to get that that cool ocean breeze when you open your window. Um, you know, who doesn't want to have a balcony when they're book when they're sailing? So uh, Viking does offer all of our guests their own private balcony. Um, we've got everything from um, a fitness center, um, explorers lounge, and let's go ahead and just dive right into it so I can walk you through it. So when we're talking about the space and interior design of our ships, you know, we, we have serene Scandinavian spaces. You know, we are, we come from Norway, we're a Norwegian. Um, you know, all of our ships were thoughtfully designed to connect with the destinations. They're, the staterooms are designed for comfort and serenity. We offer open light filled spaces. Um, there's a lot of dark months in Norway. So we kind of made it purposely built where we have a lot of um, high floor to ceiling windows that allow that natural light in throughout the ship that you'll notice. We've got elegant touches, evoke our Viking heritage, um, art and literature and history that surround our guests. Uh, it really is just like a fine, all the amenities of a fine hotel on the oceans. Here's a look into our three deck atrium where we'll have a pianoist and the music does um, play throughout the ship. And on top of that three deck staircase, you'll see um, a picture and that is an ever changing picture. So that picture does change throughout the days, uh, whether it be specific to the guest itinerary that are traveling on that ship or, you know, Viking heritage or um, any of our Viking products. So that's a, that's a changing picture right there, which is kind of neat. Uh, Surrounding the three deck atrium is our living room area. A living room is an area is a good place to, you know, just relax kind of before you start your day or maybe you boarded early and you just want to grab a coffee at the, um, at the little coffee shop right there that you see towards the back and watch everybody. If you're a people watcher, you can sit back and just relax and watch people come on board that day or leave for the day. So it's really just a great place to just relax, kind of like in the living room of your own home. Just really immaculately clean, um, 
great attention to detail when it comes through the design of the ships. Um, you'll notice every li little thing. There's not every little every new day. You'll notice something that we added um, that we touched with our with the design of our Viking Ocean ships. It's really a beautiful ship. Here we have our Explorers Lounge. Explorers Lounge is a two room lounge where guests can um, unwind, do some scenic cruising out the windows. Um, we got some blankets on the back if you want to take a nap or maybe grab a book from the library. Uh, we've got a bar that's centrally located in the Explorers Lounge on the top deck there. So you can enjoy a nightcap, just a great place to relax and unwind and connect with fellow travelers. Here we have our winter garden. Our winter garden is where we're going to serve high tea. Um, so this is a great way, you know, to enjoy some high tea service or some finger foods like finger sandwiches, pastries, croissants. Um, when I was on board, actually, I got to see the boys choir um, practicing their performance here. So you'll never know what surprises you're going to see um, on board a Viking Ocean ship. Here's our main pool. So we've got a heated main pool um, with a retractable roof. So all of the pools are going to be heated so you can enjoy uh, year round. I know getting the weather permitted, we'll, we either have that roof um, closed or we'll go ahead and open it up. Um, and at night we do, um, we do open it up for some movie under the stars. So you can enjoy the uh, movie there, uh, whether you want to relax in the pool or relax on one of the lounging chairs. So a really nice touch there. Love that. Next, we have the infinity pool. It's a plunge pool, a glass bottom plunge pool that's uh, located in the aft of the ship. So um, another great place to relax and watch the, um, the beauties of the ocean as we're sailing. You know, you want to take a pina colada in the pool with you, go ahead and do so. Um, I know I did. <laughs> so just a great way to just relax on the aft of the ship there in the pool. Next, we have our spa. So again, no cover charge for the spa. The spa will be open for all guests. Um, but um, as we return to sailing, we did make a change to this. So we were going to be opening the spa by appointment only. So uh, no cover charge, but you will need to make an appointment. Uh, you can do so while you're on board. And let me tell you, when I was on board, I feel like people forget we did have a spa because nobody was in there. <laughs> and this was before we, we, it was by appointment only. Nobody was really in there. You only had maybe one or two people. I think they just forget, or I don't know, maybe they're busy doing something else, but so please enjoy, take advantage of the spa. We offer facials, we offer, you know, massages, um, you know, any, anything you need to relax and unwind after a day on, on shore. And um, of course, all of our guests, all of our staff um, will be wearing masks during treatments, of course, as well. Everything will be fully sanitized for you. And here we have the snow grotto as a personal uh, favorite of mine. Um, so we do have our sauna and our snow grotto that you can step into. And then we were actually the first cruise line to offer the snow grotto um, on board an ocean ship. So really nice touch. I love that. Then we have our restaurant. This is our main uh, dining gathering for our guests. Uh, here, you know, you can enjoy regional cuisine or um, all American classics. And um, this is where you can enjoy some al fresco dining where, you know, you're never too far from your destination. We love to have those full view windows so that you can just peek out and, and just enjoy the views as you're, as you're dining. Um, so this is no additional, um, again, no additional charge. This is the main dining venue, uh, no reservation seated for the restaurant as well. This is where everybody will just go and dine. Then we've got our man Freddy's restaurant. This is one of our um, alternative restaurants where you will need a reservation for, but no additional cover charge. And this is some of the best Italian food I've had um, on water and on land, hands down. It really is just amazing Italian food on, served on board. So make sure you check out Manfredi's Italian restaurant. Here is the Manfredi's type private dining room. So if you have, you know, a large party that you want to have some, some, some privacy, then you can go ahead and rent out this dining room. No additional charge. You just need to um, tell the staff on board that when you plan to um, have your dining reservation so they can go ahead and reserve it for you. Then we have our uh, chef's table. The chef's table is, um, is also an alternative restaurant where you'll need a reservation for. And this is where we'll do some um, wine and food pairing. So you'll do some, a lot, notice all the cups on board on the top of the tables. So a lot of wine and food pairing here will take place at the chef's table. 
Then we have Mamsons. Mamsons is our Norwegian deli on board. Now this is a great place to enjoy, you know, some delicacies like um, some some cakes and some some fruits and and just anything from our our split pea, our famous split pea soup. So Mamson was actually uh, named after our chairman. Uh, Torsten Hagen's mother. So um, they named this place after her and they actually um, took some of her famous recipes incorporated at Mamson's like her split pea soup is one of them and that's served on every uh, every voyage on our ocean ships and then her famous waffles as well. So make sure you try both of those while you visit Mamson's. They are just oh just exquisite. They really just melt in your mouth. I love, I've never had a waffle as I have here before. So Mamson's Norwegian Deli is what it's called. And then we've got our Akivit Terrace. So Akivit Terrace is where you can enjoy some al fresco dining on board. So it's where the, your destination becomes your dining room. This is uh, located around the plunge pool and the, in the aft of the ship. So as we return to sailing, you know, I'm sure if you're like me, maybe you'll feel more comfortable dining outside as we have been. So uh, we do offer um, three options for you to dine to al fresco on board. We got the restaurant, we got the Akivit Terrace, and then the pool grill. So we do have those options for you. Or if you per prefer to wish to remain in your stateroom and dine, we offer that a complimentary room service as well. And let's go ahead and get into our staterooms and just to take a look at the all veranda stateroom. So our staterooms is the perfect retreat <clears throat> to relax and begin the day refreshed. Uh, we've got Scandinavian interior, uh, fine art of detail from goose down bed or goose down pillows, king size beds, generously proportioned closets, and award winning bathrooms. So, the lead in state rooms is going to be our veranda and our deluxe veranda. These are um, going to be the same size, 270 square feet. It's just a matter of where they're located on board and what amenities come with them uh, that determines the difference. And Atrisa will be happy to go over the details of that with you. Uh, this room, as you can see, offers your own private balcony. You got a little seating area with two chairs and a desk, and then the beds can be converted from either a queen to two twins. So you can always request that when you're booking or whether on board. Then we have our penthouse verandas, an upgrade to 338 square feet. You also get more amenities um, with this room. And when I talk about amenities, I talk about, um, you know, the higher cabin category you book into, it means that the earlier you can choose your shore excursions, the earlier you can book your dining reservations. So again, Teresa will be happy to go over the amenities of all the stateroom categories with you. But here's a look at the penthouse veranda that gives you a little bit extra square footage inside and a little bit bigger balcony. Then we have our penthouse junior suite is now at 405 square feet. So this does offer you um, a bigger living room area. As you can see there, there is a curtain that closes off. So for those that wanna sleep in a little bit longer than their travel partners, they can do so. And then you've got your own private balcony. Here's a look at the bathrooms that we offer on board our uh, ocean ships. So these bathrooms are really just modern, but really just a great attention to detail. And we really utilize the small space that we do have that we do have when building these ships. So we've got anything from high pressure water in the shower to my personal favorite, the heated floors. Yes, every bathroom has heated floors and it's something that you're going to want in your own home after you after you're on board with us. So heated floors in the bathrooms and a fog mirrors is also a great, nice touch. Um, and then we have premium toiletries with easy to open caps. Again, the fine art to detail you'll notice is just, is just amazing. And then here we have our Explorer Suite. Um, Explorer Suites, we have uh, these located in either the aft or the bow of the ship. Um, so you can either book one in the front or the back and they do offer you a wraparound veranda. So here's a look at the seating area. And just depending on where the Explorer Suite is located, they can range anywhere from 757 square feet to 1100 square feet. So um, Teresa will be able to tell you the exact specifics on what cabin category um, square footage is when, when you're booking. But here's a look at the one of the Explorer Suite's verandas in the bow of the ship. So the Explorer Suite veranda in the bow is a little bit smaller and it does need to be enclosed a little bit because of the wind um, from being in the front. And, but you do get a larger stateroom. So the Verant Explorer Suites in the back and the after the ship offer you a larger balcony because it can be open and you get that full panoramic view from behind the ship, but the stateroom is just a little bit smaller. So again, there is a little bit, a little bit of a difference when it comes to the square footage and it just depends on the location of the cabin. 
And the Explorer Suite uh, bathroom is the only bathroom that has the tub. So all the other bathrooms do have the stand, stand in showers. Um, so you get the double vanity sink, all bathrooms with the premium toiletries, anti-fog mirrors, heated floors, and then this room does have the bathtub for you. And then we've got the top of the line suite is the owner's suite on board. So we only offer one of these uh, suites on board all of our ocean vessels. So if this room is for you, book it sooner than later because there's only one available on every ship. So this room offers 1,448 square feet. Uh, here's a look at the seating area. It's got floor to ceiling windows, a vapor lit fireplace. It's got a boardroom that seats 12. Um, you can also have some video conferencing if you'd like. Um, Ocean View Dry Sauna. It's got Chairman's private library, wine and music collection. We give you a welcome bottle of uh, champagne and you get daily personalized tea service or a pre-dinner cocktail. Um, by request. And we also give you one complimentary shore excursion with a private car and driver in Port City of your choice when booking the owner suite. So it is truly the best of the best on board. Um, I had the pleasure of walking in one of these. Um, they're not always available. <laughs> um, so I had the pleasure of, of touring this room and it, it, it's Oh my God, it's bigger than my apartment. <laughs> it's like a small little condo. I mean, here's a look at the bedroom. You got the balcony as well, right outside the bedroom and outside the, the seating area. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful room. So the owner suite, if this room speaks to you, go ahead and book it now because only one available on every ship. And again, here's a look at our premium bathroom amenities. We've got everything from, uh, again, spacious bathrooms. We've got Freya toiletries, heated floors, anti-fog mirrors, large uh, glass enclosed walk-in showers. We've got plush robes and slippers waiting for you. So um, yeah, just a great overall uh, stateroom experience when you're in those bathrooms. And with the announcements of our expeditions um, and the announcements of all of our rivers, including our Mississippi River that we announced in April, uh, starting in 2020 or 2022, Viking is now touching seven continents, 95 countries, 403 ports, five oceans, 20 rivers, and five great lakes. That means that we touch more water than any other cruise line in the world. So whether it's a, you know where you wanna go um, exactly, or you're not really sure and you want Teresa to help you plan out your perfect vacation with us, give her a call, she'd be happy to do so. We have a lot of options for you to choose from and we welcome everybody back on board um, soon. Um, things are really looking, looking up for us to be back out in the water, so. Um, Fingers crossed. I know I'm anxious to get back out there. You're all anxious to get back out there. So let's 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 be in high hopes that we'll all see each other on board soon. And before um, I do end it, I just want to go ahead and go over um, our health and safety program because it's, it's a very important topic that I believe um, you should be aware of. Um, and you will probably have a lot of questions of, of what we'll be doing as we get back out there. So with our new health and safety program in place, um, Here's some notes that you, you can take down that Viking is the cruise industry leader in health and safety. Our priority always has been and always will be to ensure the safety and well-being of all of our guests and our crew, both, of course, on shore and on board. This program will include the most effective methods. Um, we do are going to be launching the PCR testing on board. So we've got full scale PCR labs on board our ocean ships. And then we've got a um, strong network of shoreside labs on um, the rivers for our, for our river cruising. So we'll be able to test our guests and our crew daily if needed, if required. Um, and this PCR testing is, is conducted by collecting a simple saliva sample from the comfort of your own stateroom. Um, and it's the most effective in minimizing the risk of infection on board and slowing the spread of COVID and other illnesses. Our program and testing will exceed the local requirements of governments around the world. And our health and safety protocols will enhance every step of your journey from pre-embarkation to embarkation to all onboard and onshore experiences. So, um, of course, as time goes on, you know, policies and protocols may evolve. We're going to go ahead and reevaluate everything and, and update our program. We look into local governments and see what they're requiring. So for the most up-to-date information, please contact Teresa. She'd be happy to give you more information on, um, you know, whether it be specific to your itinerary or whether you have a specific question of what Viking is going to be doing on board, um, reach out to her. She'll be happy to let you know, um, you know, the most up-to-date information on her program.
but uh, we won't get back out there unless we can deliver the safe, meaningful cruising that our guests expect. So keep that in mind. Also, too, if you haven't already heard, uh, we did launch our Viking Dog TV at the beginning of the pandemic. Just a great way to stay connected to uh, to everybody while remaining at home. So as we know, the world is really an amazing place with remarkable treasures on every continent. And at Viking, our enriching cultural content through our Viking.tv enables us to explore and enjoy the world um, together from the comfort of our homes. So we're delivering uh, enriching digital experiences daily here from uh, engaging conversations to inspiring presentations. We look forward to coming together weekly for different enlightening discussions among friends. So if you haven't already, tune into viking.tv from your computer or, um, or tablet or phone, and uh, you can watch past recordings or live recordings. And just a quick reminder, we have um, we have continued our risk-free guarantee. So if you book now up until April 30th, you will be covered under this promotion that's going to allow you to change your cruise date up until 14 days prior to departure. And we will go ahead and waive all change fees. So it gives you the ultimate flexibility. We'll give you 24 months to select your new cruise date, and it is combinable with all other offers. So I'm hearing that this is going to be ending in April. I can't guarantee that, but this is something that I'm hearing. So if this, you were interested in booking for the future, this does give you that peace of mind of booking now and knowing that you can cancel up to 14 days prior. So um, get in touch with Teresa as soon as you can. Um, she will go over all the details of uh, what's available, pricing, and go ahead and get you locked into that risk-free promotion. So with that being said, uh, of course, we look forward to having you all on board with us soon. And if you want more information, you have any more questions, or you're ready to go ahead and book, uh, contact Teresa at uh, Honeymoon Islands. You can visit her website at honeymoonislands.com. Uh, there is her direct phone number for you or her direct email. You can send her an email inquiry as well, and she'll get back to you. She's a wealth of knowledge um, for Viking, and um, we look forward to having you back on board with us soon. So with that being said, uh, Teresa, did you have anything else you wanted to add? Yes. You did a wonderful job. Thank oh, you. Thank Just, you. It makes me want to travel again. And there's one thing that I've learned from the pandemic, and that is that pent up demand for travel. Everybody kept saying, don't worry. It's just a moment in time. People will want to come back. And I am seeing it in droves. And I think it's just human nature for us humans to go and explore the world, to go visit the unknown exactly. and experience what we don't experience in an everyday life. So I know if anyone out there is watching this, if something pulls at your heartstrings, please reach out to me and let's create that vacation that you so desire. So with that being said, thank you very much, Beth for your time and energy today. And you gave us a wealth of knowledge today, but oh. I wish everyone well and goodbye for now. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Everyone stay safe out there. We look forward to having you all on board with us soon. Everyone have a great day.